So this is the old and gold device from Xiaomi and I have installed a best Pixel OS which is based on Android 13 for Redmi Note 9 Pro Max or Redmi Note 9 Pro what you can see or Poco M2 Pro. So if you're new to my channel please consider to subscribe because this is the custom ROM video. I know you love custom ROM that you that's why you click the thumbnail of my channel. So without wasting, wasting a further time let's get started to the video. So guys, this is the latest Pixel OS for Redmi Note 9 Pro and Pro Max. If you can see this, I will go to about the device. And here's the Android 13 version with the latest Android 13 Theramas Misu. And I love the Android 13 Easter egg. And I think you also love. With the kernel version of Lineage OS with the built number of TDA220804. And it's having late Pixel OS security update having October 5th, which is so not so good, but yeah, no problems. After that, this is a whole UI because it's a pixel OS. You're not getting much of the customization option, but you do can customize your device at your own preference. So don't be of that. Like you're not getting customization for the network internet settings. Everything do works. I'm having two geo sims and both of them working fine. For the apps, you are getting default apps. From here, you get the Pixel Launcher with this old customizations because Pixel OS Launcher does not provide any of the customizations. But yeah, apart from any Android 13 or Android 12 L custom rooms, I really prefer this custom room. Here's so why. For the battery, I regularly used much of the benchmark benchmarked apps and with the YouTube and you are surprised to see everything does perform so well. The battery is so good because this is device is charged yesterday night and it's still at 53% at its heavy usage also. First of all, you get the battery percentage icon also and the battery percentage option does works fine. So there isn't a bug with the battery percentile. In the display options, you are getting colors adaptive option or you can select the natural and the live display is option you can calibrate from here and all these settings are working fine because it is not a AMOLED display so you aren't getting any AMOLED for the sound and vibration per app volume control is also given advanced settings no me sound enhancer or whatsoever is available for this device okay after that here is the wallpaper and style you get the bunch of theme palettes you can select over here if, if I can change from here you can see that it gets instantly changed for the theme icons themed icons does works so you can see that themed icon is working fine upgrade there is normally upgrade which is present in pixel experience that is also present in this room after that let me go back to the settings in the security we are getting fingerprint options already because face unlock is still not available in android 13 custom rooms and the system only I have already told you about gestures you get the options of these advanced restart is the option is given and which is available you can see that advanced option is also given so don't take any tension about the that also so apart from that all I want to just share the screenshots of the benchmarks I took first is it's a CPU throttling test and you can see this it's 84 to max performance you can see this with the max of 1465 gips which is run for 15 minutes at 100 threads and it's good this is the benchmark of the geekbench 551 for the single core and 1647 for the multi score and i'm having this redmi note 10 uh, pro and in the same device if you check the geekbench score it's having the 720G and 732G and you can see this the score difference above here this is the downgrade score same room having here so you can see this this is performing all around well this is the wildlife test on the that application of 3D mark and 1040 is the best score and with the average frame rate of 6 fps this is a hard test after that this is the wildlife extreme test and it also performs well, stability of 99.7 percentile, which is so good to see. After that, L3 certification is there. This is because of the not having the latest MIUI firmware. So you need to flash the latest MIUI firmware above here to get that L1 back. So this is all the of my review. If I just open or close any of the apps, the opening closing animations is too awesome. You can see that. Everything does provide fine and 
this all things were working fine so guys if you really 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 like the review and if you want something next new and if you can suggest me something better then you can see the comment box is open you can write down the comment section till then bye bye and keep subscribing and keep stay safe